Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, hey, good morning. How are you on this Thursday morning? It's the third day of March. Time as I make this is 3.25 a.m. Ridiculously early, 44 degree morning. And uh, I'm glad you're here this morning. We have much to talk about. How are you liking the month of March so far? We had 72 degrees on the first day of the month. We had 78 degrees yesterday on the second day of the month. And I think we're at least in the upper 70s today. We may be headed for record high territory beginning tomorrow and continuing through the weekend. But don't get too used to this. We all know this can't last and it won't last. Showers and thunderstorms return on Monday. I have an update on that storm system. That's the start of what could be a very active weather week. And uh, Alabama growers, beware. I want you to watch the very last map coming up later on in this video. It'll get your attention. All right, glad you're here this morning. Surface high pressure centered near New Orleans today. Another beautiful spring-like day across the Gulf South and through much of the southeastern U.S. I think we're headed for the upper 70s again. And temperatures will continue to be uh, flirting with records, I think, over the weekend. Near a record on Friday. More on that in a moment. And uh, it's going to feel more like early May as we get into the weekend with highs in the low to mid-80s and eventually mid-80s by Sunday. So the amazing warmth will continue not only here in the southeastern U.S., but into the Midwest and into the Ohio Valley as well. I'll show you this map again. This is uh, the potential record highs just on Sunday. You can see record highs could fall all over the southeastern U.S. Friday's projected high temperature of 81 will be close to the record of 82. And I think uh, Sunday's record is certainly in jeopardy. So, you know, I mean, all of the uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will be flirting with records. With at least 79 today, we had 78 yesterday. Tonight slowed down to about 44, so the nights are still chilly, but not too bad. A little westerly breeze, 5 to 10 miles per hour today. Record high on Friday, certainly possible. High pressure moves to the Carolinas. We're on the warm side of it, uh, the, the back side of high pressure. And much above normal temperatures continue right on through the weekend. But a great weather for outdoor planning, and whatever, you're gonna, whatever you want to do. With the high temperature in the mid-80s on Sunday, we are almost certainly going to break a record or tie one. Monday morning, we see the frontal system uh, near Memphis, and that's going to bring showers and thunderstorms back into forecast by Monday afternoon, Monday evening, and Monday night. And with temperatures in the low 80s and dew points in the upper 60s, there could be a few stronger storms. We're going to be watching that scenario. Could they be severe? We're going to, uh, it's not a clear cut severe weather situation, but certainly we're going to be watching that. Tis the season for severe weather, of course. Dry weather right on through Sunday. Bone dry, not a drop of rain. You see all the rain off to the northwest. And then the rain comes in as we get into, you know, Monday afternoon, Monday night into Tuesday. But no uh, heavy amounts, no flooding rainfall amounts from this system. But a very active week next week. So we're looking for at least 81 on Friday and then low to mid 80s on Saturday and mid 80s on Sunday would break a record and then low 80s on Monday, very humid with showers and thunderstorms coming in and continuing Monday night and clearing out early in the day on Tuesday with Tuesday's high temperature falling back to the upper 60s. Tis the season for pollen as well. We are in the medium to high range today and we get into the high range Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So uh, yeah, all of a sudden... Um, our cars are going to start looking yellow again. Uh, we know what that's like, so uh, hang on. By the way, I'll show you one more map for all of you asking, are we done with the cold air for the winter? The GFS says maybe not. This is nine days out on Saturday, March 12th, showing a big dump of Arctic air coming into the country. So uh, how cold will it get? We don't know yet. And don't take this to the bank. But we're just watching it. Our free weather app will keep you on top of the action with uh, hourly forecasts, 10-day forecasts, push notifications for severe weather alerts, radar, future radar, and a whole lot more. Access to these videos and all my tweets as well. Uh, it's free in the App Store, and it's award-winning. It actually did win an award from the uh, uh, Alabama Broadcasters Association. Go to the App Store and search Rich Thomas Weather. Yeah, so a lot of interesting weather ahead over the next few days. March is always very interesting, but I'm enjoying this little nice coast of beautiful weather, at least for a few more days before things uh, get a lot more active next week. All right, this morning, everything's normal. 
You've heard this before, live on the radio, 6 to 9, News Talk 93.1, live on TV on CBS 8 and ABC 32, uh, a couple of times this morning on Alabama Rising, another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. That's the official posting time and your forecast, whatever you wanted, across the dial on eight radio stations. That's where you'll find my forecast on the Blue Water family of stations. I'm going to enjoy this nice weather. I hope you're enjoying it, and um, I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.